freedom of expression has to be the freedom to express yourself through dress, through deportment, through speech, through public activity, um, the way that you want to, right? The notion that you have to not be appropriate to that gender is really about a few people, but people should have the right to do it. People should have the right to, to actually act and look and dress whichever way that they want to. My name is Michael Bronsky. I'm professor of the practice of activism and media at Harvard University. Many states, and George Chomsky writes about this very well in his book, Gay New York, about New York City, um, had laws that were called the three-piece laws, which simply said that any man or woman, as defined by, as man or woman under the law, in the most traditional ways, <clears throat> were forbidden to wear more than three articles of clothing or accessories that belong to the so-called opposite sex. What it would mean was that if a if a lesbian, say in the 50s, or early, early 60s, was wearing um, sensible men's shoes, a pair of pants, that could have been women's pants, not even men's pants, but they were pants, they were not a dress, a men's tailored shirt, and say a man's fedora or a man's wristwatch, which would bring her up to four <laughs> pieces, of masculine clothing, she could be she could be arrested, she could be fined, she could even be put in in jail for a period of time. There's a law in New York State and other states had it where you could not serve an open homosexual drink. These come out of prohibition to essentially crack down on gay bars, where presumably everybody in the bar would be openly homosexual. You know, so there are laws that are actually targeted at gay and lesbian people, and I think that the three piece law was totally aimed at gay men and at lesbians. These laws came out of social sentiment that you shouldn't do this. So the laws actually emerge from social conditions. Any social justice or civil rights movement has to deal with the law. And there are so many laws that need to be changed. It's, it's no surprise that people become overly litigious. People become overly focused on changing laws. People set goals, either big goals or small goals, based upon the law. And this is all really important. I think that on some level, if we're looking at the sanctity of the human being, looking at the... the um, connected to the First Amendment, but also going beyond that, right? Looking at a notion of of how we can respect people, that you know that that changing hearts and minds ultimately will do more than changing the law, because changing hearts and minds will actually change the laws that are bad. Mm -hmm.